Hello friends, welcome to a new happy learning video. Did you know that for every four animals, three of them are insects? We calculate that for every human being, there are 200 million insects. We are surrounded by insects, so I think it's important to get to know them a little more. Insects are invertebrate animals that share a number of characteristics. Their body is divided into head, thorax and abdomen. They have two antennae, six legs and breathe through their trachea. From the moment they are born, insects undergo a series of body changes called metamorphosis. Most insects are oviparous and maggots are born from the eggs. As we can see in the images, they don't look anything alike their parents. They look like worms. When they grow, they enclose themselves in a cocoon they make with a substance called silk. Inside the cocoon, they undergo an incredible change in their bodies and they exit as adult insects. This metamorphosis stage is called pupa. Although, when referring to butterflies, we call it chrysalis. The large majority of insects have wings. In fact, they are the only group of invertebrates that can fly. Another shared characteristic amongst insects is that they have almost perfect vision. They have compound eyes. It's as if they had hundreds of tiny eyes in each eye, which provides excellent peripheral vision. As we said before, there are so many insects and there are also many types. There are very annoying insects like head lice, flies, or mosquitoes. Interesting insects because of their shape like stick insects or leaf insects. Beautiful ones like butterflies or dragonflies or singer insects like a grasshopper or cricket that besides from singing is an excellent jumper. But do you know my favourite insect? It's a bee because I love the honey they make. Some insects, like ants or bees, live in highly organised societies where they each have a job assigned. The queen ant, for example, is in charge of laying eggs. Drone ants protect the nest. And worker ants are in charge of getting food and taking care of maggots. The truth is, insects are incredible and although by their size they might seem unimportant, they are fundamental for nature's balance. For example, they are in charge, along with some birdies, of pollination. Some insects, like my beloved bees, are constantly flying from flower to flower, transporting pollen from one flower to the next fertilizing them, which makes new amazing plants come to life. The truth is, most insects, like most living things, are marvelous, don't you think? Goodbye friends, see you next time and don't forget to subscribe to Happy Learning TV.